Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of The Fishing Place. Today we are again, as you guessed it, on the Bromborough Wall. And I am very excited. It's minus degrees again. There's a slight breeze which makes it absolutely frosty. And I've just got a feeling I'm going to get a nice cod. 8.2 metre tide, I'm fishing it an hour before high, so it's coming up lovely. And then I'm going to fish it probably three hours down. So one thing I'm doing a little bit different to today I'm using my little bass rod there. It's just got 30 pound braid straight through. I've got uh, a one up, one down on it. Fishing, dead lightweight, two ounce. And it is, to be fair, it's holding close in. Yeah, there you go, look. It's going straight away. There we go, look. Be a little white now. Go on, and again, there we go. It's going straight away. But I want to catch a cod on it. I think it'd be brilliant. I've got my drop net there. Okay, see you, Liam. Thank you very much, sir. And, uh, We'll see how we get on. One more thing, I have forgot my tripod, so it's going to be a lot of handheld phone footage. And if we get a monster, which I'm hoping for, that's going to be quite interesting how I'm going to film that. So I hope you're enjoying the content. If you are, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out the new blog, www.thefishingplace.co.uk. Right, let's get into this. So bait wise, what we've got, we've got some mussel, got some squid, got some black lug. Again, all frozen, I haven't had time to go out and pump some fresh. So this was, to be honest, it was a bit of a whim. I finished work early, I spoke to my mate, and he, uh, he said, yeah, crack on, come on, have a little go. So payment will be a codlin. So if we catch a codlin, that's what his payment's gonna be. So I need to catch a codlin. I've got pulley panel out on the big rod there, and I've just got basically a one up one down, the size one O's on my little rod. I've got my other rod here ready to be set up, but I don't think I'm gonna set three up, it's too cold. So two should be enough. Oh, and there's also a baby seal knocking about. So hopefully we'll get a bit of footage of him. Tiny white and top hook. But there's my first fish on the little to the Abu Garcia mass black box fish. Don't worry, this video is not going to be filled with whiten after whiten after whiten. So we'll hopefully only film the cod. But here you go, he can go back. Get that rebaited off. They get it back out there. Well, we're getting absolutely plagued by white and we're coming up to high water now. So, I think, well, I know from experience the ebb fishes really well here. So, fingers crossed that's when we're going to get our cod. Well, I said I wouldn't film white and, and I'm breaking that rule. I was a cracking little white now on that little rod. I'm, I must have had about 20, 20 easy 20 white now. That's the biggest. So we're at the top of the tide now. So fingers crossed, we're gonna start getting the cod as soon as it starts to ebb. But they're not, not, not a bad size white now on a little rod. Imagine what it'd be like if we get a two or three pound cod then on it. <laughs> Got a cod on. Not very big, but it'll do. Oh, I've just gone to lift him off the wall and it's just come off. <laughs> They're only a small one anyway, it was about two and a half pounds. Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable. Well, as soon as the tide turned, bang, caught straight away. I missed one and I just got one right to the wall. I went to hoist it up the wall and it come off. So, yeah, well, it was only a small one anyway. About two and a half pounds, so I will let him go anyway. But that's good, that's good. I've had two knocks straight away. I had one right up to the wall, I've actually seen it. So I don't know whether that counts or not, probably not. But it's looking good. It's looking very good. Thank you. 
finally a nice codling. Yeah, happy days. Happy days indeed. Alright, let's get back out and get another one. Mwah. Send your cousins. Well, the little rod did the business. Didn't catch me a cod though, but it was good fun fighting the small whiting, to be fair. I had hundreds of them, it was ridiculous. So many, so many whiting. But like I said, I'm not showing the whiting on this video. I reckon this rod could quite easily, with that two ounce lead on, handle an eight, eight pound cod. It'd be really fun. It'd take a while to get it in, but I could easily do it. Easy, it's got so powerful. If you want to cast it, you can cast it as far as you want. Well, as much as the line will let you, to be fair. But, great rod, love it. Can't wait to catch some bass on it, to be fair. It's gonna be amazing. And the funny thing about it, it's not even my rod. I bought it, my dad as a present. But, oh well, sorry dad. I've stole it now, it is now mine. <laughs> I've missed quite a few cod today, which I'm quite annoyed about. But that's probably down to the size of my baits, to be fair. I'm after a big cod. That's why I'm putting big baits out. But as you can see, that's a small cod, which I've, I've, fill, I've gutted now. and. Uh, I think it, it, it come up on my scales as £4, but it's, ne it's never £4 now. But look at the size of its mouth for a small cod. So when people say use small bait for the cod, the mouths are massive. So they can easily take big bait and it spat that out. That's a white. That's a bit decomposed now. But the size of that white it swallowed it. So yeah, there we go. Well, we'll let you know we get on now. One more cast, see what happens. I think it's definitely time to call it a day. The dogs come in. It's getting very cold. <sighs> See me breath. I've had one nice cod anyway. Lost one at the wall. I missed a good few bites, so it's my own fault. But that's fishing. So hope to see you on the next one. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to check out the blog www.fishingplace.co.uk. See you on the next one. Cheers.